hi everybody welcome welcome back to my channel today we are here for a q a so sorry if you're just like my fan oh so fresh on noises from the window but i really really need some hair because it's so really hot in these days i'm just sit still and i'm dying it's been a year that I want to do this type of video and I also ask you in the community of YouTube and you say absolutely yes so if you're new here on my channel I'm Francesca if you're new here I'm Francesca I'm an Italian girl I have this channel since like one year two years ago I think yes nearly two years is whoa I really love my channel anyway. <laughs> Start with the question. I'm so so freaking excited to answer to the questions. The first question is any further plan to return to Seoul? Oh if you're new here or if you didn't know by my Korea vlog, um, I studied in Korea for like six months uh, the last year, the 2022 2023, and I uh, go there on the November 2022 yeah, studied there the um, Korean language at the Sogang University not in the immediately time I'm not planning to do some really really uh, current travel to Seoul but for sure I want to come back to Korea uh, also because I didn't uh, sadly visit the South or South Korea also Jeju Island or something like that so I'm really sad about it but for sure I want to come back because it's my happy place I'm so freaking in love with South Korea it's my I don't know my ideal life but I didn't decide I decided to come back because if you want to be a student um, if you are also a foreigner maybe it's not the best choice to do yes for sure one or two year out of your country is the best experience ever helped me, helped me so much with my mental health and also uh, I grab a lot after that travel so it's really really recommended and also South Korea is one of the best country to do that but I want to come back there like a traveler and like a tourist not like someone that who lives there because uh, it makes me a lot of anxiety like all the stuff like about visa and all the authorization like that makes me make a lot of anxiety so I don't know if I want to live there what you currently study I'm currently in Milan uh, I'm studying at the Polytechnic of Milano I'm studying fashion design uh, this was not my first choice I was like want to study graphic design but uh, unfortunately my score at the um, entry test was not that high for graphic design but was good for fashion design so I decided, I decided to go and uh, start to do fashion design so maybe uh, I will continue like this because I also like it I, I like all the types of different designs so it's not that bad for me and also can practice, practice uh, by myself a lot of graphic design how old are you? Oh, I'm 20, near 21 years old. The battery is dying. <laughs> so, how old am I? I'm nearly 21 years old. I was born the 6th of November of 2003. Yes, I'm uh, currently 20 years old. Yes, and I'm a Scorpio baby for sure. <laughs> really proud of my zodiac sign uh, do you prefer Italy or Korea? oh this is really a funny question because it's my biggest quest question uh, in this years because I'm so freaking in love with South Korea it's like um, it's my happy place also because the mentality there is more uh, like near to mine I'm a little bit it's strange to say more like mentally like an Asian people I'm really really overworking working and I want to be really really focused on the thing that I want to do no distraction if I have to work I have just to work also really really introvert introvert 
so in Asia it's really really you can live without problem a life like an introvert stupid things you can go to a shop without uh, people inside that works there so it's not a problem you don't have to speak with them and it's really really more easy if you're an introvert stupid things like that also because uh, I don't know if you already talk about it I don't like Italian food um, it's not it's not my style since I was a little I never never liked Italian food like carbonara and pasta like that I like simple things really really simple but oh shit shit there was a giant wasp I'm so terrified by them anyway I can't stand to it like Italian food but then after I discovered in general Asian food but Korean food since like guys I can go back I only that I'm so so freaking in love with Asian and particular Korean food I'm so freaking in love also for the safety of the town uh, I speak about Seoul because I live there it's so freaking um, safe it's like wonderful sincerely uh, but at the same time I really miss the extroversion of Italian people because I feel that in Korea people are so much like me living with people like you doesn't help you to go out through your like comfort zone and doesn't help you to grow um, behind that point of view in Italy um, it's better because I'm a really really uh, shy and introvert girl but in Italy it became a little bit more challenging but more fun to interact with people Italy adds uh, this is my own country so it's really really easier doing a lot of things the first thing for sure is living because you don't have to have a visa or something like that and also uh, speak with people because the barrier of language at the starting point it was like nothing but after month it became really really heavy for me because as I already said I'm not a uh, I'm an introvert girl so it's so freaking difficult in general to like uh, get out of my emotion or my ideas in my mm, mother tongue so like speaking in English or in Korean try to say what I think that in general for me it's really really difficult it was like terrible terrible since it was really really difficult and the biggest problem I was like nobody can really understand me so it was really really sad about it so the biggest thing that I like about Italy is like interaction with people it's strange to say it from me but yeah it's that the biggest problem let's go with the next one so skincare or makeup so um since I was a little I never was a really big fan of like makeup or skincare but once I went to Korea I started to fell in love with skincare for sure because I really love to take care of myself and love me so it's wonderful to skincare and after um, after I lived there after lived in Korea my mind is completely changing and I'm so freaking in love with every single part of the skincare so for sure skincare in these days I'm a little bit more in makeup I also like do a lot of videos about them let's check maybe here no maybe here I don't remember in these days I'm really in uh, makeup 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 stuff I'm not so wonderful in to do makeups today I do this mm. Not bad, not good. Yeah. What kind of music do you like? I'm so freaking in love with this question because I'm so freaking in love to say what I like. 
I don't know, it's because I'm obsessed with the thing that I like. It's really, really, I don't know, strange to say, but I'm really in love. So, I like listen to all of different music. You can go through my playlist or you can find like, uh, for sure, K-pop, yeah. But more than K-pop, normal pop, also my like 20 years old music like, I don't know, Justin Bieber, um, Rihanna, something like that, so very really bad. Some Italian songs, a lot of Disney songs like uh, Descendants songs, so in love, um, Camp Rock, Aladdin one, yes. Still some Italian uh, singer, Latina stuff like Rosalia or um, Shakira. Oh, a lot of Shawn Mendes, one of my favorite singer. Uh, yeah, I can listen. Oh, also a lot of rock. Man, oh, my favorite singer for sure. If you can understand my style, you can understand my style. But my favorite singer, there for sure. Um, BTS. Manuskin, um, Billie Eilish, Showmanness, and Justin Bieber. These five for sure represent myself, also a little bit of Michael Jackson. And this is my music taste. Oh, what do you want to do in the future? Oh, it's so freaking difficult to answer to this. Um, for sure I want to have my own brand because mm, I, I'm my own brand when I can do everything. I know it sounds a little bit, I don't know, too much, but I really love to take care of all the part of my business, all the things that I want to do. For sure, I want to be helped by someone, um, but I want to, I want to know how to do all the stuff. So for this, I want to know about all the different design because I want to be more focused on graphic design or like. I don't know to say mm, it's maybe product designs like about vinyl figures like stupid example I don't know Tokidoki or Kohl's or all the vinyl stuff that you put in your home if you are really really rich and you do oh my god this statue is so freaking cute like I want to do this stuff and also the graphic design of that one of my biggest inspiration if for sure cool is because i have also his book it's so freaking good um i really be inspired by that uh, yeah for sure this i want to be i want to have my brand and i have to decide for sure what i want to do uh specifically but yeah how do you deal with anxiety and over pressure Oh, this is really, really important. I'm so happy that I uh, take for the last question. Um, so, in the past two years, I had a lot of problems with anxiety, depression, and other stuff. Really, really tough for me. And I'm so freaking happy that nowadays I can say that I'm so, so freaking happy. I'm relaxed that I don't have big problems like that so it's not it's not so difficult to say about it it took me a lot since a lot but the first thing is I asked for help so this is so freaking important for this and um, yeah ask for help and then it's a really really big and long uh, path that you have to follow to be um, happy and calm for sure but you can do this you can do that for sure without problem so this was the video hope you like it and if you have any other question let me know in the comments and let's see you to the next video bye